this is six toes. This cat is like the Al Capone of cats. German shepherds this big would run away from him because he also stuck the key to Now, six toes didn't always used to be the boss cat. millions of animals without loving families living in over 5,000 shelters like this one across the nation. With 5 to 7 more million animals entering those shelters each year, according to the ASPCA. Not to mention, the ASPCA uh, estimates there are 70 million stray cats on the streets alone. simple fact of life here is that pets sometimes run away or get lost, but not many are returned. Only 2% of cats and 50% of dogs are returned to the owners, and that's because most of them have some form of ID, according to the ASPCA. I personally know how painful it is to lose a pet. I had this cat. Her name is Kitty. Don't mm -hmm. laugh. She was a brat, but I loved her. One day she went out and she didn't come back. And I had become so convinced my mom had gotten rid of her because I knew how much she hated that cat. But after a while, I realized my cat had disappeared. Kitty didn't have any identification badge, but she had a different color. Now, the millions of strays and unidentified animals nationwide problem that our pets pay, pay dearly for. Because shelters cannot hold all the animals they take in each year, many pets have to leave their homes. Each year, according to statisticbrain.com, three to four million pets leave their homes. The American Humane Association says the leading cause of death for companion animals is shelter utilization. Now there is clearly a problem. Why do so many animals do not have why do so many animals have to die? Honestly, it's because there are too many pets. Yeah. Pet overpopulation is a major problem. And even with this many pets, 35% of people still refuse not to stay and neuter their pets, according to the American Humane Association. On average, a cat has one to two litters a year, or four to six kittens per litter, according to the ASPCA. I had this cat named Daphne. She had three or four litters, with six cats each, before we actually had to get rid of her. What people don't understand is that the mating urge in animals is really, really strong. Dogs have been known to mate and chain link fences. I feel like dog gone to town. <laughs> <laughs> now that we know the suffering our beloved animals are going through due to pet overpopulation, let's look at a few options that can help us save them. Adoption. While it may be cheaper to get a pet from a friend, or more fun to purchase a purebred from a breeder or store, mm -hmm. it's better to get one from an adoption center. Mm -hmm. Breeders are often irresponsible and inbreed their animals for the traits people want. Mm -hmm. And pet stores virtually are, the pets from pet stores virtually come from pu pu puppy stores. According to the American society. Sure, the adoption fees may seem expensive, but in the long, long run, it is cheaper. The fee at shelters goes to the animal shots, spaying and neutering, ID, and other health expenses. Often, it is cheaper to pay the adoption fee than go to your veterinary clinic and have everything else done, according to the American Humane Association. Choosing to adopt a pet saves lives. Not only the life of the pet as a 
that's going to be your best friend for the rest of his life, and maybe yours, but also the lives of the animals in the shelter where you got your pet from. The fee goes to help pay for their food and make sure they can stay alive until someone comes along and makes them their new best friend. Now that you have your pet, it's time to protect your pet. There are many ways to ensure your pet returns home safely to you. Tags. This is the simplest and cheapest and easiest method. You can get it from your vet, from your dog, or those little engraving stands in Walmart or PetSmart that you can engrave something cute on a nice personalized tag. Microchipping. It chips the size of a piece of grain, as you can see. Roughly, give or take, 30 milliliters or so. And it's a relatively painful, pro painless process. <laughs> like a shot. <laughs> it's recommended by the Cana Canadian Federation of Humane Societies as a permanent form of FID. The only drawback, though, is it's invisible. So I recommend having a form of tag saying, hey, I have a microchip. Now, the last way. I don't agree with is tattooing. This is to be done by your vet or a pet tattoo artist recommended by your vet only. This can be very painful to your pet and they have to be placed under anesthesia when this is done to the thigh. The tattoos are usually placed on the thigh or up in the ear. In fact, my mom, stepmom's pug has a tattoo on their belly. Well, permanent, they can fade or stretch and Find our pets. Now let's make sure we can contain pet overpopulation. Yes, puppies and kittens are adorable, but more often than not, once the cute puppy or kitten grows up, they have more puppies and kittens. And those puppies and kittens have puppies and kittens. And those puppies and kittens, kittens have more kittens and don't like rabbits. <laughs> <laughs> you already think I'm the crazy cat lady. <laughs> <laughs> the cost of neutering and spaying your pet is actually cheaper than raising a litter each year. Not only the cost of food, supplies, medicine, and training is roughly $600 to $900 according to the ASPCA. And also, according to the ASPCA, pets that are spayed or neutered are less likely to end up only 10% of animals in shelters are spayed or neutered. <coughs> in conclusion, millions of animals need our help. Wow, that sounds like a really depressing story. Mm. <laughs> millions of pets do not have homes or proper ID due to pet overpopulation. And because of this, they die. There are ways to help them, such as adopting, IDing, and spaying or neutering your pet. Remember, only you can help them. <laughs> <laughs>